Hey guys, Fallen Fury here. Um, let's, we're back with more Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we started the LP. And this one, I hope to continue and try not to be a DQ anymore because, frankly, I hate being a DQ. I actually hate the first part of this dungeon, but whatever. And that's the point of no return. You can't go back there. Unless you uh, turn back time, which is. isn't showed. Um, the first time it showed, but after that, it's just kind of implied that you did that. You show up in front of Clock Town, Clock Tower. Uh oh, creepy guy from Ocarina of Time, mask shop guy. Like I said, Tattle has more emotions than Navi did. Navi was just like, "No, please, just press up to talk to me, or I'll give you directions to the next temple." But Tattle actually, like you know has a motion like she hides and she has like, you know, whatever. But I've talked enough about the fairies. Anyway, I encounter this guy. I've been, you've been following me. Of course I'm, of course that's rude. You've been following me. Fucking creepy as hell. I do like uh, the way this guy moves though. It's funny. How he moves in like one frame. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, right there. It's so funny because like it reminds me of uh, the episode of Family Guy, like the first or second episode I can't even remember, the where William Shatner is on there and he's moving like constantly. It's just funny. Anyway, he leaves the place in three days, and I have to get his mask back, the one that Imp was wearing back in that three days. It's gonna be a challenge, but I think I can do it. And he says if I get my my precious, I precious item back, then he'll restore me back to the regular link, which is awesome, because that's what our whole goal is. I don't think I'll be able to get it in this video, though, because I'm already at two minutes. So, I can, get a good hit, I can get a good start on it, though, which is always good, you know. But, I'll read what Tattle is saying. He gives me the cure. That max salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. Three days? Even if we never sleep, I'd still leave us for the measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. I don't understand that we're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find that Skull Kick, don't you? The Great Fairy will know who he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Alrighty then. Uh, let's go. I love Traverse Town, to be completely honest. It's like... It's so much better than the market in Ocarina of Time. The market was great and all, but... I don't know, this has such a better environment, but... I don't know. Like... I'll argue all day how Majora's Mask is better, and it won't prove anything, so... I'm just gonna... Go see the Great Fairy, as I'm told to. Because Link... Is whipped by Tad already. Telling him to do all this stuff. Man, it's ridiculous. Man, the Great Fairy is already all... Shattered and torn up. Let's see what they have to say. Young one, hear my plea. I've been broken up and shattered. Mess by a mess. Skull kid. Please find the one straight fairy lost in town and bring it to his fairy. Well, only. Only one fairy that's. He took her. Like, that's like just mean right there. I can't understand some of the ones in the temples. Like, you need 15 to restore her, but one? It's like, come on, man. Take move. Like, it's not cool. I'll do that. Anyway. So. The stray fairy is in two can be in two locations. In the daytime, it's in the laundry pool. I guess it's hovering over the lake, so all I have to do is just hop there. And then um, at nighttime, it's in East Clock Town, uh, above the Stockpot Inn. So it's it's easier to get it now because my wow, voice cracked. Um, it's easier to get it now, so because uh, it just. Uh, easier to find. Like, it took me a long time to figure out where the uh, straight fairy was at night because I was just exploring the first time I played this. And, uh, it, I didn't even get to go into the great fairy's uh, shrine until, like, midnight the first day. So, yeah. But enough about that. Oh, these? These are the most helpful thing in the whole game, these owl statues right here. Let's check it. 
you hold the sacred sword leave proof of our encounter. Yeah, when you're a regular Link, you can slash that thing with your sword, and it'll open its wings, and once you learn a certain song, but right before the first dungeon, it you can warp to those uh, all statues that you've hit. It's just really helpful. It's like the bull, you know, like the bull arrow of fire, the minion of forest, and stuff like that. It's like that, but in all one song. So I restored the fairy. Let's see what she looks like. Hopefully, some of those weeds back to the fairies. And it is, of course. I always thought that was so weird how, like, she only wears seaweed or whatever that is. And, I don't know, her hair is so weird. Three big ass strands, but enough about that. She's a great fairy of magic, apparently. What is she gonna give me? Is it magic? I doubt it. But, you know, you never know when it comes to this game. Oh, uh, it is magic. I was wrong, oh well. So. And. I'm the king of the world! Not really. But I've been going to magic power. I can press. Press B for, to bubble blast. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The men who live in the observatory outside the town may, may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate your child's power. That child's power, kind young one. If you ever return to the former shape, come see me and I shall give you more help. That's a good clue, because she gives you a really useful mask once you turn back to a human. So, that's all I really can do now. I have magic, which will help me pop those two balloons outside. Because they're, bo they're bothering me, I'm not gonna lie. First, I shoot this red one. So this guy has to stay up here. I'm gonna shoot him out of the air. <laughs> I thought he falls. Oops, What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? So you must pretend to be a forest fairy. Oh my! My name is Tingle. I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Though I'm already age 35, no fairies come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is very reincarnation of a fairy. And then I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I should tell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy, you know, I, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange I'll sell you a map for cheaper than the sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? I think I will, I'll buy Clock Town's map. Because it's cheap and I need it. It's kind of funny though, because when I was younger, um, I didn't have this game, but my friend did. And he, uh, he... Like, he was at the very end, like, after the fir fourth temple. And he didn't get the town hall, or the town, the clock town map until, like, after that. So I thought it was, like, a thing you got in, like, the fourth dungeon. And, like, I played through the whole game without it. And then I played through it a second time. And I real I popped him and got the map in, like, right, like, as where I'd be right now. So. But, yeah. If you haven't noticed, if you weren't paying attention, I popped the balloon that was up here with the mask on it that the one Skull Kid was wearing. He was trying to pop and he seemed really surprised, so I talked to him. Oh, you want to just pop that up there? Not bad for a deacon scrub. We better must have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code again, maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think of getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is at the past my test first. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready, I'm always ready. Line up, you guys. Find all five of us by the bottom line, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? <laughs> that one on the left. He's just not used to what's going on there. Alright, let's try this. It's easy to find these. Oh crap, I'll let him get away. Usually, usually if you just like do a spin attack before you encounter them, you can just run right into them. It's being difficult though. I like this one. See? It's really easy, but this one got away. Yeah, you can corner them too if you want. It's easy that way too. And there are five bombers total: two in North Clock Town, two in East Clock Town, and one in West Clock Town. There's none in the Laundry Pool or the South Clock Town, which is good because, like, it would have been harder if there was one in each section of the map. 
but I guess the laundry pool would have been easy because you could just corner him in that room where Cafe is. So I guess that's why I didn't think out there. And South Clock, like, South Clock Town is really big. So I don't know. But yeah, there was, there was the fourth one. And I'm going to about to get the fifth one. And I'm kind of running low on time here, so... I'll get this fourth one, then I'll stop. This one is probably the hardest one to get. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I could probably get the last one just in time, though. It no, I'm not going to have enough time. But I'll get in the next video. Um, if you like my videos, subscribe to me. I'll post a lot. I'm posting a lot of videos daily. I'm also posting Rock Band videos, so I'll see you guys later next time on Majora's Mask. Alright, see you guys.